you are well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be going through the Lush Valentine's Day spoilers for 2023. As always I get all of my information from Lush.Sense on Instagram so make sure you go and check out their page and you can kind of keep up to date with all the spoilers as well but without further ado we are going to dive right in. I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching. So as always always I am going to be reading off of my phone and I will be inserting photos so you guys can see as well. So the first item in the range is the Valentine's Bombshell Bath Bomb which apparently is rose jam scented which I absolutely love the smell of rose jam. It definitely is a more Valentine's-y smell in my opinion. I definitely associate the smell of rose jam to Valentine's Day rather than Christmas so I'm really excited about that and it's going to retail for £12 and apparently it also has some dried flowers or something in side. Very excited about that. I do really enjoy the big bath bombs that you can split into two and that come with all the rose petals so I'm really looking forward to that. The next item we have is a bath melt and that is the Love Island bath melt which apparently is keep it fluffy scented which I can't remember what that smells like. These are going to retail for £5 each but I do really love the look of this. I'm personally not a massive bath melt kind of gal and I wonder what size this is going to be because in terms of the design and the look of it in the image, it does remind me of the really, really old floating island and melting marshmallow moment bath melts. I don't know if you guys remember those, but years ago, before they were really, really small, they were kind of this big and they were really milky and creamy and they were so good. I don't know why they ever changed the formula because you'd put them in the bath and it would melt like a marshmallow, like it wouldn't be an oily residue it would be really creamy and I much preferred that but this kind of looks like that so I'm hoping maybe they've gone back to that formula unless this is just a really up close photo which then great but yeah I'm hoping for it to be like the old ones for sure. The next item we have is a bubble rune and this is the strawberry crumble bubble rune and this is the you shall go to the ball scent which if I can remember if I can remember correctly is that right if I can remember correctly yeah it's a strawberry fragrance which I didn't love I don't think when I smelt it so I'm not too sure how I feel about that one that one was the little bath bomb that looked like the Cinderella's carriage if I'm correct and I didn't love the smell I didn't hate the smell but I think it was because it wasn't like a really nice strawberry fragrance it was quite a synthetic strawberry smell but this one will retail for £6.50 um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to that one I do love a good bubble rune if you don't know what a bubble rune is it's two bubble bars sandwiched together with some um, kind of I like to say buttercream in the middle but it's not it's like whipped um, cocoa butter to stick them together and it just makes the bubble bar really moisturizing and it acts as a really lovely bath oil as well so I really enjoy those really nice for this time of year so the next item is the shower gel for the collection and that is love shower gel now on this it says love shower gel love shower sphere which is love scented which to be honest with you guys i can't really remember what love smells like which is the weirdest sentence to say ever so if you guys remember what it smells like please let me know down below um but in the description it says love shower sphere slash shower gel and it's going to be 12 pound 50 for 25 spheres now am i reading that wrong or I'm trying to think whether it's just going to be the spheres or whether they're going to bring out bottles as well because I'm not going to lie to you, I absolutely hated the spheres. I thought that they're messy and also sometimes I don't use that much shower gel. I find that I like to be able to control how much I'm using and with those you just can't do that at all. So I feel like if I was to buy all of those you'd want to cut them and like squeeze them into a bottle which completely defies the point of actually buying them in the first place but I'm just not, I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. So that are those, that is those, that are those, that is those. Moving on. The next item is Passion Fruit Delight Body Wash, which obviously is passion fruit scented, which sounds de delicious passion fruit and like mango scented things like fit in the shower I really enjoy I don't necessarily love it flavor wise like I would never choose a mango and passion fruit bubble tea for example it's just not at my street but the actual smell of it I think is really beautiful um, and price wise this is £8.50 for 100 grams which is passion fruit slash cyclops scented which I think 
we had oh okay so this is the one that was released in the fresh and flowers box months ago i remember this now this was the first marshmallowy thing that we had that smells amazing so i'm gonna have to get some of that because that smells incredible from what i remember i really enjoyed that so that is the body wash the next item is another body wash and that is the keep it fluffy delight body wash which is keep it fluffy scented i'm not gonna lie i cannot remember what keep it fluffy smells like so again please let me know in the comments i feel like i've got really bad lush memory when it comes to scents at the moment like I cannot remember what that smells like so please let me know down below um, but again this one is £8.50 for 100 grams so same price as the one above and yeah I'm excited about that actually I'm excited to see what it smells like because clearly I cannot remember so let's move on to the next one. Oh, okay this one is really exciting this one we had last year and I absolutely loved it i loved the design i loved the smell i just really enjoyed it because it was all a bit of me so this is the love bug bath bomb which is love boat scented ask me what it smells like can't remember i remember it smelling really nice really fresh really clean so hopefully that's what it smells like but obviously i will do a haul so i'll let you guys know what it smells like then um but that one is five pounds each and again i just love the design of this i really want to buy an old beetle that is my dream car it has been my dream car since I can remember I have always wanted a light blue old beetle I don't know why I've just always wanted one so yeah I absolutely love that I'm so glad they've brought that back and last but definitely not least we have the hot lips lips blah, 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 blah. that's hard to say hot lips lip mask and scrub which is in a new color this year I think this was red last year if I'm correct so it's kind of like a gold color this time and this one is three pounds each and it is exactly the same as last year apart from the color so you literally put it on your lips you leave it for a little while and then you can rub it in as a lip scrub now I'm not gonna lie not a bit of me I'm not gonna lie I just don't I get it you're saving on packaging but when I can recycle the packaging anyway I would much rather just have a scrub in a tub that rhymes but you know what I mean and use like the I don't know this is not really a, a good example but the snow fairy lip jelly for example moisturize in I'd rather just scrub put a bit of that on and be done with it so I'm not really too into these but then they are only three pounds so it might be quite fun if you've never tried them before but for me not a vibe not so much so that is everything for the lush valentine's day range for 2023 i would love to know your thoughts and opinions all down below in the comments as usual i think this range is i would say it's nice i'm not overly excited about it to be honest with you i'm kind of on the fence with it i feel like it's average they've got some nice products but they haven't really gone too overboard with it but again do they need to go overboard with it? I don't know. I just feel like the scents selected are not my favourite. Like, I'd give it like a 3 out of 5 star if I was going to star it. That would be my rating. But I would love to know your thoughts and opinions down below as always. And also, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I am so close to hitting 10,500 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. It would absolutely make my day. And yeah, I would really appreciate it. So thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.